react on this matter. That's number one. And number two is when Chief Omar talk about the paper money, how can we overturn the fatwa of the Wahhabi, which was made in 1973? We are, we are aware that uh, they are the first one who make the paper money halal in 1973. And it was repeated in 1979. 1985 and 1986. Uh, I think what we are doing in uh, in Malaysia and Indonesia is that we are trying to gather uh, the the ulama to review, to study what is the uh, uh, the this matter all about. In fact, we had a seminar a uh, couple of uh, weeks ago. Uh, we were talking about the uh, paper money and the fatwa. Because uh, you understand that they, they have done the fatwa in a very strange way. It was, uh, it was uh, started in 1971, the same, the same time when Nixon cut off from the Bretton Woods. So they started the, 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 the fatwa in 1971 by a Kaldi in Makkah called uh, Abdullah. Sulaiman uh, al, al Mani. So they started it, and in '73 they, they have a they, 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 what they have done is they, they have done it in a, in the way of ijma. That means a collective of. So everybody is now uh, we're talking about paper money. Everyone is saying that no, there is already a, a, a fatwa repeated five times, and even Yusuf Kardawi in his uh, his book also hold on to this fatwa. So what do you think, how we can, uh, the people in uh, ulama in Pakistan can, can help us in overturning this uh, fatwa? Two questions. One first is the Akil's money, second is the fatwa. I haven't met Takio's money, but I know that Takio's money has become critical of Islamic banking. And before the huge, growing criticism in Pakistan, where the great, the majority of intellectuals now declare openly that Islamic banking is a fraud, before that immense power, Taki Osmani is silent. He could have been defending Islamic banking, no? He's letting this thing happen. The reason is he belonged to the second generation of Islamic bankers. They did haram, but uh, let's say a little haram, if you allow me the literary, you know. Um, what this third generation and fourth generation of Islamic bankers have done is way ahead of anything they intended to do. So now you have Islamic futures, and you have Islamic stock exchange, and you have Islamic credit cards, and you have Islamic Dow Jones, and Islamic Sukuks. You have Islamic interests, completely and utterly, that practically nothing left. Now to that third and fourth generation, Taki Osmani has become strongly critical. Perhaps not to the extent of realizing that it was his methodology that created the third and the fourth generation. Perhaps not his final argument, but that methodology of a stretching the halal into the exceptional and beyond that allow to them other people to well if you can stretch it that land that much is what I call halal el elasticity. You keep stretching it and then you cover anything you want. So that is money stretch it a little bit and then just go further. Uh, one sign of things changing is that I in my first visit I, actually, my second visit to Pakistan, I went to Daralulum. Daralulum is a big madrasa where Taki Osmani teaches. That day, Taki Osmani wasn't there. But all the other muftis, all of them, were there. I spoke for two hours on the terms that you have heard me many times. And I said very clearly, Islamic Bank is haram, haram, haram. And I argued, and while they were at first shocked, at the end, we spent the last 20 minutes 
discussing how to introduce the golden ear and the silver dirham in the campus of the Dharam. They were with me without mitigation. And my last talk with the Mufti of the Dharam, the main Mufti, a wonderful old gentleman. And, and he took me privately to his office. And I said, what can I do? And I said to him, I, from, I want from you a fatwa saying that zakat must be paid in nine. And he was 100% with me. I said, I, I don't want you to write it until I have the coins. Let me have the coins and then we launch it. So that what you manifest can be executed. <coughs> Takio's money will join the gold dinar. And I will not be surprised he joins our petition to make the Haram Central Bank of Pakistan Haram. Well, the fatwa that was given by 40 senior Hadith and Quran scholars in Pakistan, they're not the people who are on the payroll of the banks. They're very senior muftis. And the fatwa was initiated by the teacher of Mulana Taki Usmani, which is Mulana Salimullah. So Mulana Salimullah's taking a stand against the model of Nizan Bank was, is very significant. Um, my negligence that I've not translated that fatwa from Urdu to English, but I think that is something that we need to do so that you people can read it. It's a very clear fatwa with the signatures of these ulamas saying that, that you have to stay away from the Islamic banks that murahaba is haram by every definition uh, that we have in Sharia, and we do not permit you, there is no darura, and you should not even go near the Islamic banks. So nobody could have stood up against Murad Usmani, but his teacher standing up and bringing forward ulamas from four different provinces. I think this is, this is very significant. Um, I, just a second question. The, the question of paper money. The fact that the Wahhabi state of Saudi Arabia has pronounced five fatwas in favor of paper money is good. It's good. It's excellent. It's the very proof that they're wrong. For all they have done from the inception of that country is to divide to split the community, to insult the community, to broke the community, and to spread lies with a fundamental benefit for the people, the, the governments of the, of the West. Saudi Arabia was created in order to prevent the caliphate to come back, to serve the US dollar as the garage station, selling them the wealth of the Muslims, for pieces of paper. Ironically, this fatwa is not going to fall apart by the, the power of the intellect. It's going to fall apart by the collapse of the dollar. And it will be the collapse of this system that uh, we're going to stamp these reals that they are pegged to the US dollar in the foreheads as a punishment for all these five factors that have written with no understanding of the subject. How do we respond, therefore, with action? Every coin that circulates in Malaysia is a victory. None of the coins that they will circulate in Malaysia will have the meaning of the first dinar and dirham that Hatta Waludin used. Because that first transaction he did carried all the meaning and all the baraka and our coming here because he made that first move. The second will have a little bit less and the third a little bit less and so on. And the day will come where everybody uses dinner on their hand. And there will be benefit for them, but not as much as the benefit that stands with the person who uses the dinner on the dirham today in the name of Allah. Light comes from there that outshines the lies and the nonsense and the ignorance that prevails in the system as it is today. No Ishman will validate this system. For there is no Ishman 
of the Muslims under without caliphate is not valid. The ishma of the ulama today is not acceptable. And it hasn't been for a hundred years. If you want to learn about Islam, get any book written more than a hundred years ago, as my sheikh taught me. And then you are safe, he said to me. So, Ishma is not going to make Riva Halal. If all the ulama in the world at the central banks are okay, it still is Haram. Action. Muhammad is action. The, what gathers in saying these words is that it doesn't matter the volume, the value of the transaction. What matters is what is in your heart. I'm telling you, one Amanda Malays with the same heart that Khaja Boludin showed to all of us, one will come and will stand up and he will say, this is for Allah, and it will change the world. In this continent, which is all one, Nusantara, and this man is here already, among you, you, one of you, will change the history of this land and will liberate not only the people of Nusantara, but the whole of the world. I'm only telling you to hurry up, because if you don't do it here, I'm going to do it in Pakistan. 